So we haven't even reached anywhere of this year, that's 2024, and already Travis Kelsey could not even sustain the pressure that is coming from the camp of Taylor Swift. Now, according to him, there is so much pressure on him to get Taylor Swift some huge gift on Val's Day. Like, I'm not really surprised about this because, dude, ask yourself, what presents did you give to Taylor Swift on her 36th birthday? Nothing. You give girl nothing on her birthday. In fact, so far, Tyler, uh, or Taylor Swift, let me just say, is the one that has given you some opportunity. Well, you can disagree with me inside the comment section, but boy is so broke to the extent that he cannot get anything for Taylor Swift. And now fans of Taylor Swift are asking, demanding that boy have to get something for our queen this, uh, you know, Val's day. And he says there's so much pressure on him. Well, <laughs> If you can afford it, why go any for it? Let's delve into the details after the story inside the comment section. Of course, we will engage you. So please do well to leave your thought and comment inside the comment section. This is a literature help in Axe News. For more news, please do well subscribe to our platform. Let's also get interactive, okay? Hmm. Is your boyfriend also pressuring you? I mean, is your girlfriend also pressuring you? Just, just let us know what you're gifting for your partner this Val's Day, okay? Because someone is saying that there's pressure on him already. Travis Kelsey is saying the pressure on him alone cannot even make him think for once because fans of Taylor Swift are, are, are you know, demanding that he actually get something at all costs by all means necessary for their queen. Well, I ask myself, what exactly did dude get for Taylor Swift on I know her that's said birthday? Nothing. Maybe I didn't see any visual circulating on social media because Taylor Swift's birthday was left at the mercy of her best friend, Selena Gomez. The two were seen having fun without Travis Kelsey. In fact, he looked very nonchalant about it. Disagree, or you can apparently bring out evidence to let me know or see whether Travis Kelsey apparently celebrated Taylor Swift's birthday in the grand style like any other person could have celebrated their, their partners uh, you know, on, on, on social media. So does it mean that Travis Kelsey really does not have the capacity He's not, you know, mentally ready, physically in terms of financial status, not ready for Taylor Swift. Because you can't date, a, 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 you know, our queen and be broke in your pocket. No, you can't. We, we, we're not accepting that. That, that is very insulting. <laughs> Bro, like if you're broke, stay in your lane. I'm sure most of you will say, well, love doesn't care about money, blah, 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 blah. Hey, in terms like this, you're dating a celebrity. You're dating someone with a high-profile status in society. Everything about her is important, including what you have to give to her on her special days. So don't look an I mean, don't get an imperceptible eye or paint a picture as though fans are the one pressuring you. It is a must. You knew about it before going into the relationship. Can't you see, or didn't you see what Offset did for Cardi B? I'm not saying he's, I mean, he should be pressured to do more beyond his capacity. That's not what I'm saying. But I think we should apparently psych these people's mind or mentality that regardless of who you're actually going to marry or get into a relationship with, if you know you cannot afford the status or the maintenance of the person, just don't go in for the partner or the person. Unless, of course, the two of you have come into an agreement or there's some, uh, some kind of uh, cordial relationship or understanding, mutual relationship or understanding between the, the two, then we can, I mean, you, you, you could care less about what the fans uh, you know, would say outside. But to openly come out to say that the fans are pressuring you to get gift for Taylor Swift, it means that they have seen that so far you have, you know, performed abysmally poorly in the relationship already. You said... You were actually going to get a ring on Taylor Swift's fingers on her special day. Nothing happened. It was also rumored that you're actually going to get her a big house somewhere in LA. Nothing happened. Later, we saw that you, uh, you know, officially would propose again on her special day. Nothing happened. All we see on the, you know, on the news and of course on our faces is the fact that you two always constantly be kissing on social media. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, I feel very sad for you, dude. I don't know how much you have in your account. And as far as you're dating a celebrity, everything about you would be public. And so if you're not ready to let us know exactly 
how much your coffers would be able to also cough out so we can appreciate the I mean the efforts you're also putting on the table of you know supporting uh, the queen that's Taylor Swift. Well, I'm very sorry to tell you that this relationship will not work. And relationship doesn't really base just about mere love. Yeah, the love could be there, but at least something to make the person feel that indeed or genuinely you love the person. It has to be a nice gesture, a physical gesture, okay? So please think about it before this vows day happens. Travis Kelsey, I'm warning you. I mean, start looking for something. What gift? Get, don't, don't you dare give her flowers. Don't you dare. I'm warning you. Don't you dare give Taylor Swift her flowers because I'm not even going to sit and talk about it. It's become a cliche already. Do what the Offset and the Cardi B's have been doing. Do what the Jay-Z's and the Beyonce's have been doing. Do what the Rihanna and the, you know, just, just set, set some standard. I'm not saying do beyond your control. Hey, if you don't have it, you can force it, okay? <laughs> if you don't have it, don't, don't force it. But I think we have to cite these personalities, mentality. Date, I mean, go according to your size. If you know you have less in your account, date someone who you can apparently maintain in, you know, trying to uh, give, you know, also appreciation. But if you go for someone who is more beyond your standard and has a whole army or entourage against, uh, you know, or behind her, definitely you're actually going to fish out exactly what you, I mean, you do for her or what you also have been um, 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 putting to the table. Your life has become very public and there is no way you would want to hide all this from us. Certainly fans will dig out to know exactly what you're talking or doing inside the relationship. Bro. Let me just give you a piece of advice before maybe I could wrap up. So don't give her flowers, okay? You can, I mean, you can, you can just give her a nice car. Just get her a very big mansion, a plush mansion. Like a three, a three, no, three bedroom is very, is very cheap. Uh, for someone like Taylor Swift, at least a six bedroom, a 12 bedroom, that's if only you can afford it. <laughs> I didn't ask you to go into a relationship with Taylor Swift. I didn't warn you. I didn't, I didn't force you to do that, bro. I didn't, I didn't ask you for that. You found love in the queen and fans are actually very supportive of the fact that, uh, you know, you are coming into the life of the lady. So just do something that she also would feel uh, happy about. Enough of the kiss. If I would just start seeing the kiss with you and Taylor Swift kissing here and there. I, honestly, when I see the visuals, I always want to, you know, throw out because I'm like, ah, what's this? Like we've seen this a lot of times and. It's become one too many already. So Vows Day is just, I think, two weeks or so, just around the corner. I think three weeks, basically, around the corner. Start thinking about what to get for Taylor Swift, bro. Start thinking already. Think on your feet. You have poorly, uh, you know, performed in a relationship with gifts. We haven't cited anything tangible enough in the relationship ex ex except for kiss. I'm warning you, no more kiss this Vows Day. We're tired of it. Well, guys, disagree with me or agree with me inside the comment section. Be my judge also. Thanks for watching.